hopefully I can get this piece together. Um, I, I don't know if the video has gone out yet where I talked about this, but I don't currently have any editing software on my phone, software, any editing programs on my phone right now. Uh, I think I figured it out. I had like no space left on my phone, like in my internal memory, which is where like all of my apps and everything go to. And I couldn't figure out why, because I have like nothing on my phone. I have one app on my phone and it's a game and it takes up like no space. So I don't know why I can't ever download anything onto my phone. So anyway, I had to delete some stuff so that I could put some stuff on and then I deleted that stuff. So I'm constantly like shuffling back and forth between uh, deleting and downloading apps on my phone. But hopefully, whichever one I put on my phone to edit this video will be able to put all this together. If you're watching this, it worked. Okay, so what was I talking about? We went shopping. Uh, we went to Rack Room Shoes. Uh, we went to the Lane Bryant outlet. And I think that was it at the outlet mall because my husband does not like to go shopping. Uh, then he took me to Ulta. He stayed in the car and let me go. <laughs> but he took me to Ulta and Target. Um, but I also did a huge, well, I'm, I say a huge Dollar Tree haul, but it's really not, it's a lot of items, but it's really not that much different stuff. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump in. The first thing I want to share with you, though, is a fail. This one is from Target. I guess we're going to do uh, Target stuff first. Actually, I think this is the only thing. Yeah, this is the only thing from Target that I have, because the only other thing I got was uh, my husband's insoles. That's not true. That's not true. I did get something else. Okay, so I got these two things. Um, but I got him some insoles and I picked up a couple items for me. But the first thing I got was this really pretty choker, you guys. Really, really pretty. It's got a little velvet strap and I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this. Uh... But how pretty is that, right? Oh, and I went to put it on today because I was gonna I wanted to wear it for this video and you guys this thing is so tiny okay my neck is not huge like it's really not I mean I'm not that fat I know I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a big girl but I'm not that fat this thing was literally choking me and like I had it I mean I put it I have to put them on down here and then I can move them up but I had to move it like all the way up and it was still like where my neck is the thinnest and it was still choking the crap out of me. And also, when I was cutting the, uh, the tags right here, I guess I also cut <laughs> the uh, ribbon as well. The only thing I can think to call that. But you guys, this was such a good deal though, and I was so happy about it because it was on clearance. It was regularly $12.99 and it was on clearance for $3.88. And I was so excited about it because, you know, we're going to the Ren Fair again this year. And I said, you know, this would be really pretty to wear with my Ren Fair outfit that I don't have yet. But we're going to go in costume this year and I'm really excited about that. Like last year was the first year I've ever been to like an actual Ren Fair. And I really, really, really enjoyed it. And this year, I want to go in costume. So I thought this would be really cool for that. And it's just so, so tiny. And it just, I can't do it. I already have problems with things really close to my neck. That's why most of the shirts that I, I wear are, I guess, low cut. Because I can't stand anything like a t-shirt that has like a really close neck. Just like a regular t-shirt. If it's a really close neck, I, I feel like I can't breathe and I'm constantly pulling on the collar because I feel like I can't breathe. Which you would think having a choker like this, like, <laughs> okay, I have this on like the, the very last latch that this one will go on. So it's actually very loose. Like, like I can put three fingers in there. <laughs> <coughs> and then I'll choke choke <coughs> sorry guys that was really dumb and I shouldn't have done that anyway this one doesn't bother me because like I said I have it on the very last uh, 
the length that it'll go on so it's actually really really loose but it still fits nicely like a choker should but anyway really upset about that one from Target because it's so pretty I wonder though if maybe I can salvage it I mean I'm sure I can just go get some uh, velvet ribbon from like um, Michaels or something and just put this charm on it because the charm is what sold me so I'm sure I can salvage it but for right now this is just not working for me but still for 388 just for the just for the charm because I'm sure like I said I'm sure I can make this work for me I didn't think about that until I just started talking okay the next thing that I got at Target is really boring but I got uh, some dry shampoo finally I have not bought shampoo and I promise you like six months um, but this is the light and breezy fresh scent. This is the Batiste uh, dry shampoo. This is like the only dry shampoo that I can use that actually works in my hair. I have very, very, very oily hair and I have tried so many other dry shampoos and not a single one of them does anything about the oil in my hair. I can use this stuff like I can have three day hair with this stuff. Like it feels grody, but it looks okay. Uh, but this one smells really good too. I think before this, my favorite one was the, uh, I want to say maybe the cherry scented one. But this one smells really good too. The tropical one is not bad either. But this one actually just really does just smell fresh and clean. Like, I don't know how else to, to, to describe it. I mean, it's got like a very slight floral type scent to it. But it just smells really good, just fresh and clean. So, really digging that. Okay, let me show you Ulta. It's really, really, really tiny. And these are not new items, but they're new items to me because I have not used them. So the first thing I picked up was uh, some more blending sponges. Now, I have used the blending sponges from Ulta, but I've not had the small ones. These are the little... The small ones, I think this is the smallest ones that they have, I think. That's not true because I think I saw another pack that had some really many ones. But that pack was like, I don't know, more money than I wanted to spend. This was, what, $4.99 for this pack? Let's see, I have my receipt in here, I think. I do. Uh, yeah, $4.99 for the small super blenders, two counts. I like the Ulta sponges. Um, I'm going to tell you, I think I might like them better than my Real Technique sponges. And here is the reason why. Those Real Technique sponges, my fingernails that are really not even that long, have torn them to crap. I have one that is really good that... Uh, holds moisture but doesn't hold all the moisture I have one that I can put water in and when I squeeze it out it does not reform all the way like it takes it a really long time to reform so the only way I can like keep it in the form that it's supposed to be in is to not squeeze the water out and then what is the point of that so I don't know I'm just <sighs> I don't know maybe I got a bad pack of those real techniques. Now the pack that I got was on clearance, so I don't know. Maybe I got like a what do they call it when something a recall batch? I don't know. Do they do they do that? Do they recall blending sponges? I have no idea. But so anyway, I like the Ulta ones, but the thing with <clears throat> excuse me, the larger sponges is that you really can't get in to do like your concealer because you can't really get into the corners real well. And I like to be able to get like my makeup in the crease next to my nose. And you can't really get in there with the other one. So I'm, I'm hoping that maybe these will help with some of the tighter spaces on my face. I don't know if they will. Um, what did I get next? I picked up some eyeliner from Essence. Um, I have used both of these before but not in the... Well, I've used one of these before but not in this formula. So I got the dip eyeliner. Typically I buy the dip eyeliner in the waterproof. But... I started thinking, you know, I watched a Jessica Braun video recently and she was talking about like the waterproof um, mascara and stuff like that and she said, and this is true, it doesn't, it's really difficult to get it off. Like even when you wash your face or you use like a makeup wipe or something, it's really difficult to get off. 
And, I mean, it's not mascara, but it does, the eyeliner does get in your lashes and, you know, you're trying to get all that gunk out of there and you end up pulling eyelashes out and, eh, I don't really, I mean, I want to keep what I've got. I mean, my lashes are, like, by no means balding, but, you know, mm, I don't want them to be balding. So, anyway, I got the, uh, just the regular formula of the dip eyeliner. I was hoping that maybe they had changed the uh, little applicator here, but they have not. But I do think this one might be, you know what, I'm going to check. Because I think this one, and my waterproof, this one, I don't know. It might be the same exact tip. Yeah, they are. I don't really like the tip on these. I'm trying to like hold it in a spot where you can see it. <laughs> but it's not working real well. I don't know. I feel like this like went on so thick and I don't remember having that problem before. So I was hoping that maybe the applicator would have changed a little bit. Maybe it would be a little bit more um, sleek and streamlined and you know a little bit more narrow. But it's not. But that's okay, because I also got an eyeliner pen. I got the Essence 2-in-1 eyeliner pen. There is a thin side and a thick side here. That's the thin side. Um, and it's not super duper thin. But then this is the thick side. It's like a marker type tip. It's like a chiseled marker tip. So I am really excited to use this because I'm wondering if maybe... With this pen, I can actually get some winged liner going on. Finally, because I really miss my winged liner. But if you guys, if you've been watching my channel, you know I've been really struggling because, you know, I've got some crepiness over here on this eye. Uh, this eye is still fine, but this one, I've also got a very small, like, very, very small um, mole right where I'm, my wing is supposed to start so I have trouble getting the wing to do what it's supposed to do. Anyway, I feel like I'm not explaining that well at all but um, if you're new here that's what's been going on. So let's move on to what I got from Rack Room Shoes. My nose is so itchy. Okay. Um, it's just one pair of shoes but I lucked out because okay I let my son pick out his own shoes He's the one who's going to be wearing He's three. He doesn't really know about fashion. But, you know, I want him to, you know, have some independence. So I let him pick out his own shoes. And he found a pair that he wanted. And I grabbed the box that was in his size. And I looked at him and I said, these are not the same ones as the display. And then I found the ones that he actually wanted, which are so much cooler. And they were on sale. They were like $10 off. So the ones that I picked up were, I don't know, we don't watch Nickelodeon because we don't have cable. But I guess there's a Nick Jr. show called Blaze or something about like a truck or something. Um, those tennis shoes were $29.99. These marvelous, haha, <laughs> 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 I didn't even mean to say that. <laughs> These marvelous Marvel Captain America Civil War tennis shoes were $19.99 and they light up. Uh, these are so cool. So, so cool. But I had to get um, a size 9. So here's the thing. My son has like a really fat foot. Um, not a really fat foot, but he's got a fat foot. Um, his feet are going to be wide. Like I can already tell. But he's in like an eight and not even like a full eight and a half yet but it's so difficult to fit him for shoes because it's I don't even know if they make wide shoes for kids but if they do they're very difficult to find finding a wide shoe period is difficult that's just the way it is I used to sell shoes it's difficult to find a wide shoe or a narrow shoe for that matter typically they just sell an average so we went up to a size nine um I think it'll be fine because he'll still have some room to grow his toe is like back here his toe is like right here in these so it'll still have a little bit of room to grow but these still fit well enough that uh I keep trying to make them light up these still fit well enough that you know they're not going to fall off 
of his foot. So I'm really excited about those. They're so cute. They've got Captain America on them. I didn't even like really show you the shoes. They've got Captain America and that's his shield that lights up. That's so cool. And there's no laces, just Velcro, which is great because he likes, he's trying to put his shoes on himself now. And so I think that'll be good for him. He can buckle his own shoes. So yay for new shoes. I wish I had gotten myself some new shoes. I did not. I did go to the Lane Bryant outlet and get myself a new bra. And so I guess maybe another fail for me. Um, I tried the bra on in the store and it felt really good. I actually had to get myself measured because I don't think I'm wearing the right size again, which means I have grown again. I am 35 years old. Aren't I supposed to be done with all of that? Like, aren't I supposed to be in the size that I'm in and that just be it? But no, I've gone up like another size. Uh, but the bra that I tried on felt really good. Like it was really comfortable in the store. It didn't have any padding on it. It didn't have a molded cup. Typically I wear a molded cup, but this one is really thin. It's just like the fabric. Um, it's got a lace overlay on it. It was on clearance for $19.99. So a $20 bra from Lane Bryant. Hell yes. Uh, because the one that I really wanted that was really comfy was like nearly 50 bucks. No, no, I'm not going to do it. Um, but like I said, the, it fit really good and it felt really comfortable in the store. I put it on today and then I sat down in this chair to film and like the underwire on the side was like poking the crap out of my arms and I was like, no, no, I cannot do this. So I guess I have to have one that hits lower so that it doesn't do that because that was the problem with my other one. Anyway, like this might be TMI, but maybe you understand. Do you, do you feel where I'm coming from? Like, me getting fitted for a bra that, like, actually fits 100% correctly. Oh my god, it's a struggle. So anyway, that was everything from the outlet mall. Let's go to Dollar Tree and show you what I got there. So before I start showing you, I want to tell you guys, it is almost the end of July. Really, it's like mid-July right now, and they are already putting out fall and Christmas stuff at Dollar Tree like already they are like so many seasons ahead right now it is ridiculous but I might need to go ahead and get a jump on it uh, <laughs> even though I know like the stuff they put out at the beginning really is not that great but you know when it gets closer to that season they'll put out like the really good stuff and it gets snatched up really quick. So anyway, mostly what I went to Dollar Tree for was for just some some bins, some some organizing bins, because I need to. I got to do something with my kitchen. The top of my fridge is just it, it keeps getting out of hand, and I can't keep a handle on it. And I have decided I'm going to redo my bathroom, the master bathroom. But after getting these bins, I got hit with some inspiration and I think I'm going to redo our bedroom and our bathroom to Sugar Skulls because it will appeal to my need for color and my husband's need for just morbid rock and roll type crap. So, I mean, not crap. I mean, I'm into the rock and roll stuff too, but yeah, I don't know. Did that make any sense? I don't know. To appeal to his edginess and my colorfulness. There we go. That is that is probably what I should have said. So anyway, let's just go ahead and jump in here. I did kind of have a hard time finding um, some of this stuff. Uh oh, my bubble bath done poked a hole in my bag. Okay, I did have a little bit of trouble finding some of this stuff because they were kind of picked through. Um, so I just got what I could get. Um, I'm not going to do all of that just yet. I'm going to do the bins first. Okay, so I got three different sets. And by sets, I mean three different styles. Um, I think these, though, these little buckets, I think these might go on top of my fridge. I don't know. Haven't really decided what's going where yet. But I got three different colors. I got the bright pink, the purple, and like this cornflower blue which I don't think it really matches the other two colors. 
very well, but maybe it does. I don't really know. Uh, but I got two of the pink one, one of the purple, and one of the blue. And then I got three of these, like, little basket type. Um, I feel like these are the ones I decided to put in my bathroom. Because what I use these for is for, um, like, my hair tools, like my hair dryer and my flat iron, my curling iron, all that stuff. I put them in these, and what I have in there right now is just a regular, just a regular woven basket. But I put, like, a really pretty dish towel in there. But nothing in my bathroom matches right now. So I want everything to match. I'm trying to get real decor going in here get it not looking so much like you know we just got what we got want it to kind of start flowing together so gonna be doing some redecorating pretty soon maybe that will be a new series for me to film here on youtube but i got three colors again i got the pink the purple well the purple the pink and the green i think the green is probably my favorite and then one more set of baskets Something fell out in there. I don't know what it was. Get all this stuff out of here. I got these right here. And let me show you. With these, they've got these little, uh, I guess, indentation. Not really an indentation, um, but underneath there's an indentation. So let me show you what you can do with these. So if you flip them this way, they will sit on top of each other. So, they kind of stack. Ah, yeah? I think these are the ones that I intended to put in my bathroom, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to use them to stack or not. So, these might go somewhere else, like probably in my kitchen. Uh, but again, pink, green, and purple. Okay, we are done with the bins. Now we can move on to the kind of sort of fun stuff. So I finally, I'm going to show you this first because this is what I'm most excited about. Well, not most excited about, but I am really excited that I found it. So I can never find these at my Dollar Tree. And every time I watch a DIY video, they say, you can get these at Dollar Tree. They always have them. Uh, no, sorry. Never have it at my store. <laughs> but I finally found the acrylic gems. Finally got them at one of my stores. And you guys... I picked up two packs of the diamond type ones and I got two packs of the red because I'm pretty sure that I can do a DIY for Christmas with really both of these, but I like to use red for Christmas stuff. So, yay! Finally, acrylic gems to put in my craft stuff so that I can start doing some crafts and some DIYs. Super, super stoked about that. Like, probably. The thing that I am like the most excited about. Oh wait, no it's not because I found the most adorable little wall hanger. And you guys, um, I watched Bargain Bethany. I've talked about her here on my channel before, but you guys, if you're not watching her, go check her out. She does like some really ridiculously amazing Dollar Tree DIYs. But you guys, she had hauled this one and I said, you know what, I want to go see if I can find any of those canvas prints that she was finding um because she said they're really good quality and you guys these are good quality she said these are um she compared these to something we get at target i absolutely 100 percent agree it is a really sturdy canvas on here and i don't even really know if it's a canvas um it may just be like a cardstock that they've made to look like canvas but regardless is this not fabulous uh, I think so. This is definitely going over here by my vanity, but again, inspiration to do Sugar Skull in my bedroom because I can have color and everything can flow together. Yay! Really excited about that. Okay, so what else do I have? The rest of this is bath stuff. Hi, that was my shoulder because I was out of frame. Okay, the rest of this is, uh, bath stuff it's probably a little bit boring but i finally hauled some bubble bath because i'm completely out of bubble bath i'm almost out of shower gel and what i do have i really don't want to waste as bubble bath so i got the lavender and chamomile i really wanted to smell it but they have the um 
uh, I don't know, would you call that a serrated? Or, uh, you know what I mean though. Like the drink bottle caps. So you have to break the seal in order to open it. And I didn't want to do that in the store, but I have it now. So let's see if it actually smells good. And now we have the hiccups. Why? Smells like lavender. Smells like lavender and chamomile. Actually, it smells very much like, I don't know if you can see that little blue bottle that's on that uh, nightstand behind me. But that is the uh, Bath & Body Works Sleep Aromatherapy scent. Oh my god. It is my favorite. It's, um, I think, lavender, vanilla, and chamomile. I mean, it's right behind me. I could get up and get it. But then you would see that my outfit does not match. <laughs> okay, I'm going to ruin some YouTube magic for you guys. I don't always dress completely when I get on camera. Sometimes I just dress for what you can see, and that's what I did today. So I kind of took the lazy way out. But let me see. There's no way in hell I can read that from back here. Um, yeah, I think it's vanilla, lavender, and chamomile. But it smells very much like this. Um... And it's a very, that scent is, it's warm. It's a warm scent. But it's just so calm. Oh my god. Lavender and chamomile. Oh, yeah. This is definitely going to get a lot of use for me. Because I take, I take baths every night. Um, <laughs> and I typically like to take a bubble bath every night. Because that is my time. Gosh darn it. Uh, so... Definitely gonna be getting some use out of that. Put me into sleepy mode. I uh, got a big thing of bath poofies because I don't change mine out nearly as often as I should. Um, you're really supposed to change them out like every couple of months because they will grow mold and mildew in them. Because I mean, they stay in the shower. So, I mean, of course, they get wet, they're gonna develop some bacteria and whatnot. And I really don't change mine out nearly as often as I'm supposed to. And I finally realized that and decided, you know what, let me go ahead and just get the big thing of these for a dollar. I mean, they're not huge puffs, but I can show you actually, probably, maybe, I don't know. No, because I put my scissors away already. But these are like, I guess, mini puffs. But I mean, still, I mean, do you really need the huge one? I mean, it does the exact same thing. Uh, then I also got me a back brush. I had one of these before, and, um, yay, my battery's dying. Good thing this is the last item to show you, but I had one of these before, and I really, really liked it, uh, but again, it started growing, like, you know, the nastiness in there, so I had to get rid of it, and I haven't gotten another one since then, but I love this thing. I love this thing. Oh. So, yeah, really excited about that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I feel like I said I was really excited about everything I got. And I was. Um, I also feel like I did not enunciate any of that sentence that I just said. I feel like I said I was really excited about everything that I picked up. Except for the two, two things that are kind of a fail. Uh, but I am because I love to go shopping and I am so excited about the stuff that I got from Dollar Tree because it really did give me inspiration for redoing my bathroom. Now I have to go through the arduous task of actually finding the stuff to put in there, uh, which is not easy. I think the sugar skull fat has kind of faded out, uh, but we are going to get into Halloween here pretty soon, so maybe they'll bring some of that back. But right now I'm really having a difficult time really finding it and finding it for like a bargain type price because you guys know I don't we're bargain beauties here. We don't like to spend a lot of money, so, you know, don't want to spend a lot of money on that either. So anyway, yeah, really excited for inspiration from Dollar Tree stuff. Really excited for um, this new DIY project that I'm going to have to do now. I think I might already have some... I think I do already have... Uh, like this velour felt type ribbon. I think I do. I might be able to do this today. 
Um, so anyway, yeah, I'm going to ramble and my battery is dying, so I need to just go ahead and wrap this up. I really hope that you guys enjoyed my haul today. Hopefully I was entertaining enough for you to watch me for the entire 30 minutes of this video. Um, if you did like it, then like it. Give it a thumbs up. Um, also, if you are not... Wow. My train of thought is just gone. Yeah, if you like the video, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. I love when you guys do that. It doesn't happen very often. Show me some love, guys. Show me some love. Also, if you have not already and you would like to, hit that subscribe button down below. While you're at it, you'll hit the bell next to it. That's going to give you notifications. Wow. Give you notifications on when I post new videos. I feel like this outro is completely falling apart at the seams. Um, also, if you are not on Instagram, follow me there as well. Follow me on Instagram, BlexiBD82, the exact same way that it's spelled here. I have completely flubbed up this entire outro. I am just going to leave now. Have a great day, guys. Mwah. See you next time. Bye. How many times can I blow you kisses? Apparently, I really love you today.